Today, we're going to be working on a little thing I call an ornithopter. An ornithopter. And, well, you see, what is an ornithopter, may you ask? Well, it is this thing. What does it do, and what is the point of an ornithopter? Well, it's technically a bird, but a mechanical one. But with no thrusters Ooh, and no gyros. We do not do that. We do not do any of that. Not and what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to build one of these fascinating creatures. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tutorial as you build along. And yeah, enjoy. So to get started off, we're going to need a couple of things. A seat, a sails, rotating servo, steering hinges, and just a basic body. And the XOR logic gates. Now those are gonna be very important and it's actually so little logic if you ever did think about ornithopters. But we're always gonna do this in a frame of a bird kind of, but more of a dragon type of vibe. So if you've been struggling to figure out how to do sail wings, here's gonna be a good answer for you. I'm gonna build it in the most basic template I can for you guys to try to understand and enjoy. So please, just try to follow along and yeah, enjoy yourselves. So, like I said, we're going to need a seat, then we're going to get our basic frame down as per usual. Planning is key, ladies and gentlemen. Then we just copy, 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 and then there we go. Then what we need next is our rotating servos. Now these are going to be essential for the flapping. So we're going to just slap them on like this. Just grab it like that, put it to the other side, and well done, you've got your flapping. So we're just going to put some blocks here to hold it down. Then we're going to need four XOR gates. I'm going to explain to you in just a moment. So what the XOR gates are needed for are basically just the loop. The loop for the flapping to go up and down, up and down. So we're going to just place them down like this. Put it down like, yeah, 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 that's good. So each, both of these two logic gates are going to be for each side. So I'm just going to color code this for you. Just set this to, I don't know, red, and then set this to light blue cyan, one of my favorite colors, children. Then we just start with the wing structure. So let's say we start off with a little, I don't know, a pipe. Just grab that, slap that down right there. Then we're going to place our first sail to get a basic idea. Then, um, small, modular, big, it, it really depends on you, but I think we'll just grab a big one to give a basic idea. Just place one on each side, and then I think just move this up by one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just grab these pipes, slap it down like that, um, or maybe let's just bring it a bit back for, like, you know, the idea of the wings and the heads here. And then, well done, you've got your basic structure. So obviously we just need to bind them up. So what you do is get rid of these binds and check for the values. So if you want your green to go up and down, then you have to change this value. So to change it to minus one is basically taking it the opposite way. So we'll set it to two times speed and then they'll both follow kind of the same pattern. So let's just switch it back around and there we go. Now up, down, up, down is towards the inside. Then what you do is you hit your logic block then you set a duration and pause. So for the first motion, which is the up motion, we're going to grab our duration, set that to, I don't know, 0 0.5, and then the pause to 0 0.5. And we will hook that up to the rotating servo and just put in the bind that we want for our flight. Then you'll notice that is going up and down, but it's not going all the way. Let's quickly sort that out. Then the reason why we need a second one for each side now for the loop to continue, but the difference is we're going to set a delay. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you do the same thing, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. But this time you set the value on a minus, so it's going the opposite way now. So then we got this motion right here. Ooh. Whoops, I think I need to double check. All right, so I figured out what the problem was, but I'm going to go through it with you. I turns out I accidentally just kind of uh, didn't set the degree. So we'll quickly just set the degrees to 60 and just see if that'll work now. It's still going, just going up and down. Why, 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 why? So after a couple of moments of just kind of wanting to die, I realized I forgot to add a little key bind here. <sighs> Joy is up. It still doesn't. <laughs> 
My bad. Once more, do not make the same mistake I did. Um, so it turns out you gotta... <clears throat> well, you know, just... Yeah. Then there we go, we've got our up and down motion. It's, it's very wonky for now, but now you've got the basic of where the movement comes from. So let's just do the same thing to the other side. Alrighty, now we've got our flapping foot. Mistakes were made. Okay, I genuinely don't know what I did wrong with the logic blocks, but I simply just copied it over now. Uh, okay. But you basically do the same thing for both for both the sets of logic blocks, and now you've got your basic flapping. Now, where does the forward motion come from when it comes to ornithopters like these? Well, gents, the answer is a tail. So let's add a tail here, for instance. Um, I think we're just going to go for a little basic, I don't know, a little small triangle. Slide that down like that, and bim, bada boom, bada bam, 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 bam. And there we go. Now we've got forward thrust, but now... So guide, why can't you steer? We'll get to that now. So when the steering, for the steering to come in, we're just going to make our body a tiny bit lengthier. So just add a little bit of length to this bad boy. Slap it a bit back, and then we add hinges. And let's just reduce this. Just make it a bit thinner. And we're gonna add a little boop, bab, boop. Actually, no, that'll, that'll stay as it is. And then we're gonna add... Actually, no, let's just get rid of this. Just slap down a little hinge here that is my little friend for the steering. And we're gonna kind of give it a little motion here. We like little smooth motions. So we're gonna add a one by two by each of these. And leave a little gap in between. And then finally, we're gonna add our small steering hinges so we're going to grab this put it vertically like that copy and then you just do the same thing kind of you just copy now you've got your left and right and up and down so first we're going to start off with the steering hinges grab a little sw oh, sw and then i think that is fine just as it is uh, no it's the opposite way let's just swap it around just select both of these boop boop and yeah, now you've got your little steering here, if we are pitch and yaw. But now all that's needed is to just stop it from going other ways. So we're just going to grab a little, I don't know, I think we're going to grab smaller sails here. Let's also, you know, let's just do the same thing. Grab some small sails, just put it like that. And just copy another one and then grab your little streamlining block, a wedge two by one. Just rotate it over, and there we go. Now, if we do the flapping, we have forward thrust and way better steering now. Much, much better. But not enough lift. To fix this lift problem, we're simply just going to add more sails. So let's grab our... To fix this little problem we have with lift, we're just going to simply add more sails. So let's grab a little small triangle sail, just put it to the tip there. And then you see we have a lot more lift now. And holy, look at that speed. Just coming from zero power cores on its own. That's amazing, isn't it? You feel like, you know, that one scene from How to Train Your Dragon? Yeah, that's how you'll feel if you get one of these right. Oh man, it's the best feeling ever. But let's improve it. Let's add a little bit of more nicer flapping. So for this, we're going to add hinges. So we're just going to slap this, move this a bit up, move this a bit up. We could add the same motion so we can pick up a little bit like that. Just put a little hinge there and put a little hinge on the other side as well. Be sure to keep the green arrows up to get a, the same idea. And we're just going to clear these binds and also clear the steering help. Trust me, it's pain. So we're gonna, just going to do that, and then we're going to kind of add the same block, so we'll add each to the same side. This one goes there, and this one goes there, purely because of OCD. You can do one set for both, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And then look at that, slightly more realistic flapping. But we could add, pick up the speed a little bit, but now the lift is kind of a bit... I mean, it's flying straight, technically, but it is looking a bit bad. Now we've got a little bit of wobbling, like a 
teeny weeny little bit it's not enough resistance for heavily wobbling but would you really want heavy wobbling if you're trying to have a stable flight and then yeah then all you then you can do some pitching you could add more to have a bit more of a wider angle kind of like this one right here but i mean it's your choice at the end of the day this is your ornithopter congratulations you've actually built one now you can go to your friends and flex that you're smart enough but hey doesn't matter but gentlemen that is my quickest crash course for a ornithopter so if you enjoyed please do like and subscribe and share the video for your friends whoever whoever needs this and yeah you must have a lovely day further and have a good one ciao